What's up guys, this is X0991 here, we are playing some Pokemon White! In the last episode, we actually did a lot of stuff, and I'm sorry for the audio recording, I think I fixed it right now, it seems to be running pretty well. Um, like I said, I did go to the Desert Resort, and um, actually I saved it a little notepad actually here, telling me... Alright, so, as you guys can see, you know, Kirby's a little hurt, uh... Some items I picked up while in the Desert Resort, I got some black glasses, which... Uh, raise the attack powers of dark type moves. I got a heart scale, which will be used later. I got some soft sand, which raises the attack of ground type moves. Two hyper potions, some stardust, two Ross berries, and TM39 rock two minute rare candy. Um, as for the levels of our Pokemon Jet, I think it's still 25. Kirby is an awesome level at, uh, what version is that? 26. Blitzel Bolt, he is at level 24. Selena, of course. Okay, so I can rock a drive yeah. So now we can finally head into our new city. Yeah, baby. Ooh, what do we have? Cha oh man, it's Charon. Bring it on, bro. Come at me. Come at me. Professor Juniper. Hello. Oh wait, no. Wait, he, she's saying, hello, Zira. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on. You're black. Alessa called and was asking me all about electric type Pokemon, and I thought about you guys. That's why I wanted to see you. Ta-da! Freebies for you! We get first off! And we get Ultra Ball, which we had one already, because of what's his face. I think that's about right. <coughs> Basically, um, Ultra Balls are, like I've explained before, our higher level of Pokeball, which are actually quite the highest in the certain or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. It seems the professor gave us the Pokedex as a reason to send us on a journey. At least that's what my mom told me. They want us to go out and see the world, so my mom, Bianca's mom, and your mom made a request to Professor Juniper. Zero, what should we do now? I think I'd like to show the professor my thanks by going to Route 4 and catching some Pokemon I haven't caught yet. Well, normally if I was playing by myself, I'd probably be catching all these Pokemon, but I don't roll that way. I'm- Oh my god, I love this music! You got- to dance through this cool you, you just gotta you, you just you just gotta love this music it's just so happy and it's actually quite funny fun fact real quick um um that uh usually when i'm playing pokemon white like or my pokemon black version on my actual ds i'm always in this city for some strange reason usually because i don't really go out anymore because i just wi-fi battle and mostly because the well i'll get into what's here in a little bit but let's go up here <gasps> plasma Gramps, we know you run the daycare. How do we know? Because we're Team Plasma! Kakarot, we are taking Pokemon away from people. Wait, what? Since you work at the daycare, we figure you must have a lot of Pokemon. Hand them over! What kind of nonsense is this? Oh. Oh, a strange looking, a strong looking trainer. Please help me. If you're going to get in a way, Kakarot, I mean, what? We'll take your Pokemon too. Bring it on, bro! Dude. Team Plasma Grunt. He sends out Watchog. Oh, that's that's chill, bro. You send out your Watchog. We got Jet. The freaking Duat. What's up, bro? Come at me. Yeah, you know what? That's good. I'm gonna go straight for the Razor Shell. Oh, that's gonna hurt, ain't it? Ain't it? Ooh, you just lived by a smid. You're just gonna sand attack me? That's cool. Cause I don't care. <clears throat> Alright, so we're the water balls from here. <clears throat> wow, I know I'm coughing a lot. Well, I'm actually recording in the morning, which I never really do, but... I don't know if that has anything to do with Trubbish. He's a new guy. Um, Kirby, you can take him out. Trub well, actually, no, I think no, we haven't seen Trubbish. Trubbish is this little, this little freak of thing. Yeah. So, Trubbish is this little trash bag thing. I mean, look at him. Look at him. Trash. But it evolves into Garbodor, which I think the Age of Music. And she was playing up uh, that Poke Park Pikachu game, the second one, and she saw like the Garbodor, and she's like, "What is this?" I was like, "Oh my God, it's." Garbador, big pile of trash. Uh. This went downhill fast, so I think we better run! Let's head out to the amusement park. There's an amusement park here? JK, I know. 
Thank you so much. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. It's a brand new bike. I'd always planned on riding around in Boston City, but it ended up never into a riding it. And of course, like every traditional Pokemon game, we're gonna put that in our freaking case or a bag. So we know where his daycare's at. We can go see him. And you're like, well, Zero ride your freaking. Oh, wait. Hey, Zero, you <coughs> Oh, that hurt. <coughs> the professor told me in Mombasa City had a lot of things to see and do. The amusement park, beach stadium, small court, and the pad of subway. I'm going to go see Pokemon musical. See you later. Oh, gosh. The Pokemon musical, the most useless thing of data created for this damn game. So this is in the Monster City, and like I was saying, you guys are like, Well, Zero, why don't you ride your fucking bike? You go, vroom, vroom, vroom. And I'm like, well, you think I go, vroom, vroom, vroom. But I don't, because if I use it, I turn back to a normal me. So I'd rather not look normal me, so. <clears throat> We're just going to do that. Let me see. No, there's no items down here. That's pretty chill. Let's go heal up our pokes. So what is there to do in the Monster City? <clears throat> Damn, I'm not recording ever again in the morning, I'm recording in my regular day. I mean, it's like 9 o'clock in the morning, Pacific Standard Day. And I got nothing to do. Not to mention, I feel like recording, because like I promised you guys, l more recording and more upload. Yes, I do that, because I am a good friend. And I, yeah, that sort of stuff. I call you guys friends. You guys aren't, you guys aren't fans, there's no such thing. Anyway, this is the battle subway, I don't want to go in there yet. Reasons. I'll explain later. Start at the next episode. Here is the Pokemon music. Oh, Zero! Hey, are you interested in musicals? No, let's go in the go. No, wait, wait, wait. Shit, 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 shit. Do I have to go? Shit! Shit! I don't want to go here. Amazing, isn't it? No, no, please don't make me go. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do it. She's not going to make me enter, is it? Is she? No, I don't wanna- I don't wanna play dress up. This place is absolutely useless. I'll explain why it's useless. Do I have to explain why it's useless? Shit, they're making me do it. Alright, I'm gonna enter Kirby into the fashion show. It's basically a fashion show. <sighs> so you dress him up, here you go, you can put on props from the list, you use your stylus. So I don't know if you can see this, but I have my mouse ready, so... I can- so you can kinda like... So you can kind of like move it. Let's see. We'll give you a hack in your cube. Yeah, that's what's up. Get a little bow. Wait, let's put a little. Come on. Freaking bow tie. And you're gonna get some maracas. Yes, what's up? This one will go in this hand. This one in that hand. All right, let's do this. All right, chill. Wow, the two of you did a fantastic job coordinating everything. Utterly charming. <sighs> do I really have to do this? Maybe down there I can run away. Can I run away? I wanna run away. Bye. Yeah, shit, I'm not staying around here. Screw that place. Crap! Oh, this is, a, this is actually a very touching scene. Daddy! What are you doing here? I've come to take you back home, of course. Your mother told me that you made it all the way out here. Haven't you gone far enough? No way! I'm gonna keep traveling with Zero and my Pokemon. Absolutely not. Others do their thing their way, and we do things ours. Is that so? Then how about the things your how about the things you do? How about you do things your way, and I'll do things mine? Sweetie, you keep going on your travels. Huh? You're stuck at me? Hey, who do you think you are? This is a family matter. My name is Elisa. I'm this town's gym leader, which is also very hot. I also happen to be a model. Oh, oh, oh. she's a model. This guy looks hotter. <clears throat> you know, there are many people in this world. There are people whose way of thinking may be completely different from yours. Sometimes, this means you may get hurt. Of course, that's exactly right. It's because I'm worried about that. But it's important to keep trying. To learn about the differences between yourself and others. To learn that being different is okay. And you shouldn't worry. Trainers always have Pokemon on their side. Pokemon are wonderful. It's not only how cute they can be, but also how much you can depend on them. Please.
please. I know there's gonna be painful stuff like you're worrying about. No, really. I get it. But, like, listen. There'll be tons of nice people, too. You know what else? Since I've been traveling with Pokemon, I've already gotten tougher. I can totally tell. So, please? Hmm, I guess. Wanting to continue your journey is selfishness on your part. Wanting to stop you is selfishness on mine. I'm surprised to find I'm the one being childless at my age. Gym leader's comments help me wake up. Bianca, I'm sure it's better that you take your path you want to take now. I hope that your journey will be fun. Long voyage. Zero, please, take her on my little girl, okay? Wow. Deep stuff here. Papa! I'll come home after I find out what I really want to do. I'm sure he travels as a trainer himself in the past. Being a parent. Did I meddle unnecessarily? You look troubled, so I decided to chime in. By the way, if you're trainers, please stop by the Pokemon Gym. I'll teach you a little something about how tough a journey can get. Well, there's the hurt to send.